icstation.com sent me this DC to DC mini step down converter and in this video I will use it in one of my projects. I will mention some of the limitations of this module later in this video. But before that let's look how the module itself looks and how it should be connected. The module comes in this anti-static pack and like you can see the module is quite small indeed. There's one controller IC, inductor, couple of capacitors and resistors. Very simple and compact circuit. On the back side of the board, there's pinout marked on the silk screen, but it's not correct. There's positive and negative for the input, but for output there are two negatives. This one should actually be positive output. You can see it's not connected to the ground plane, unlike this upper one. So this one is positive. And if I flip the board, I can see that the one closest to the inductor is positive and one that is closer to the trimmer potentiometer is negative. Keeping that in mind, it's time to test this module. Here I have soldered wires to the input and I'm supplying 12 volts into the input of this module, nothing connected to the output at the moment. And now that I have multimeter already at hand, I could also measure the input voltage to make sure it's actually 12 volts and the meter is reading 12.15 pretty much exactly 12 volts. Then I will measure the output voltage, which seems to be a little bit less than 1 volt in the lowest setting. Then I will start turning the trimmer potentiometer counterclockwise to increase the output voltage to see how far it will go. And with this 12 volt input I can go as high as 10.9 volts, which is about 1.1 volts lower than the input voltage. Next I will test how easy it is to get some exact output voltages, for example, let's start with 5 volts, which is pretty easy, or I was lucky, I don't know which. Then I will go something higher, let's say 9 volts. That is close enough as well. Let's try something much lower, for example, 3.3 volts. That is a little bit too high, let's try to decrease that a little bit. First it goes way too low, then a little bit higher. Let's try, that is a little bit too low. Making a precise adjustment with this small trimmer potentiometer is hard. Those blue multi-turn trimmer potentiometers are much easier, but of course this module is about the same size as one of those trimmer potentiometers, so it's understandable why this has this small trimmer instead. Now I have set the output voltage to 5 volts, and here's my demonstration circuit. I have Arduino Pro Mini. This whole board gets power from 12 volt power supply. The module converts that to 5 volts for the Arduino, which then controls this relay through a NPN transistor. This relay will connect input terminals directly to the output terminals, which I am monitoring with the multimeter at the moment. The Arduino is programmed to control that on and off every 5 seconds. This is one example of a circuit where this module is suitable. Here the input voltage is high enough, 12 volts, and current consumption is not over 1 amp. According to few tests that I made, the input voltage needs to be 12 volts or more, and output current should be less than 1 amp to keep the efficiency above 70% and to avoid output voltage dipping too much. The reason for these limitations is a design error in this module. This module has 2.2 or 2 micro inductor, while the datasheet tells to use at least 10 micro Henry inductor. Even with this smaller inductor, this module will work, but it won't meet the performance promises made in the data, and because of lower efficiency this module will get warmer easier. Because of my own mistake I had to buy a couple of more of these modules, and I think these will be okay for applications where the input voltage is at least 12 volts and output current is less than 1 amp, like I said before. The small design error isn't a showstopper as long as the wide input voltage range is not necessary, and 1 amp output is enough. I hope this was useful, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already.